In today's episode, we're going to work on the transformation. When I hit the control key, we'll be able to change our character to a ball. In this mode, we can move it with a different speed, so he's a little bit faster. And also we can get back with the control key. You notice that the animation is different. If we open it in the same position, we have this first animation. But if we are rolling and open it, we have this animation. And without any further ado, let's dive right into it. So here is what we left off from the previous videos. We have a basic third person controller. We've added the camera controller. Now we want to switch it to a ball mode when I hit the control key. And to do that, first we need to modify the input actions. If you don't know, we are using the new input system. We have created this input actions in our first video. Let's add a new one to switch to the ball mode. Make sure we are using the player action map. Then let's hit this plus icon. I'm gonna call it switch mode. Then we can set the binding, which is the trigger for the action. In our case, we're gonna use the control key on the keyboard. From the binding properties, let's select the path. I'm gonna use listen and hit control. Then we can easily select it. If you want to add more actions for a gamepad, you could add another one using the plus icon, add binding. Then you can select another path for a gamepad, like the right trigger. If you add different bindings, you have to select the right one. Here we are using the gamepad. For the control key, we are using the keyboard and mouse. And that's pretty much it. We can save this asset. Then I'm going to open up the player inputs manager that manages the inputs. Let's start by creating a public boolean and call it switch mode. And each time we press the control key, we are going to change it to true so that we can switch the mode. To do that, we add void and the name needs to be like this on and the name of the input action which we have called switch mode which takes in an input value object I'm gonna call it value and finally we can change our boolean switch mode using equals value then dot is pressed so this returns true when we hit the control key after that we can use our boolean which is public under our robot controller script Recently, we've created these lines of code to move the player using the AWST keys. Let's make things cleaner. I will take these lines of code and put them inside another function, void. I'm gonna call it move normal when we are in the normal mode and paste it using control V. First, I will create a boolean to check whether we are in the normal mode or the ball mode. Let's go on top and add private boolean. We can call it is ball or ball mode. By default, it is false. And under the update function, which is called over and over again, we can check if we have pressed the control key using the input object, then dot, the name of the boolean, switch mode. In such case, we have to reverse the boolean ball mode using the exclamation mark, ball mode. First of all, the ball mode is false. When we hit the control key, it becomes true. And the next time we hit control, it becomes false again. Then we have to reset this boolean using input dot switch mode equals false. I highly recommend you to use functions so that you can clean up your code. Let's cut these and create void switch mode and paste it using control V. Then let's call it on top under the update function. Last but not least, we can check if we are on the ball mode using if ball mode. We're gonna call a function move ball. We haven't created this yet. Otherwise, we can call our normal move function, move normal. We mostly need the same lines of code to move our ball. So I will create it using the same lines of code and call it move ball. We're gonna tweak it a bit so that we can create a different movement when we are in the ball mode. For example, we can use a different speed by changing this move speed to a roll speed. Let's create this variable on top. I will use control D to duplicate it. The same thing, it's float and call it roll speed, like 13. Then under our second function, move ball. When we are moving, we are going to set the speed to be the roll speed. Now let's save our script. By default, the character is in the normal mode. And if I hit control, nothing happens because we haven't changed the animation, but the speed is increased. Now he's moving faster. 
let's hit control again and he's slower so let's work on the animator component recently we have created this blend tree that contains the idle and the walk animation let's give it another name like normal mode and once we hit the control key we need to play this animation we can drag it under the animator component then we can make a transition from the normal mode to this animation close and to control the transition we need to add a parameter using the plus icon and let's add the boolean let's call it ball mode then we can set a condition for this transition and I think you guess it we're gonna set the condition to the ball mode true then we can get back to the code we've already added a reference to the animator component now we can go under the switch mode function and change the boolean that we have created whenever we switch the mode we can use animator then dot set boolean make sure to write the same name which is ball mode I'm gonna copy it and paste it as the first parameter we simply have to change it to the ball mode boolean that we have created on top now let's save the script again then I'm gonna hit control so it takes a little bit of time to switch to this mode to solve that we need to remove has exit time from our transition if you uncheck it the player will switch directly to the animation and there you go now we can hit the control key to switch to the ball mode in this mode we have different speed which is 15 we need to work a little bit on this animator so that we can get back to the normal state and play the roll animation when we are moving first I will add the roll animation which is this animation let's drag it under the animator component basically we can play it once this animation is finished by making a transition to this roll loop and you don't need to set a condition just keep has exit time next we have to change the speed of this animation depending on whether we are moving or not and to do that we can go under the inspector and check this multiplier parameter now we can create a float that we can change from the code and it will be multiplied by the speed of this animation first let's create it using the plus icon it's a float I'm gonna call it roll speed then we can set it as the multiplier and our second function move ball comes in instead of changing the float speed I'm gonna change the roll speed the same thing we can set it to the magnitude of the move vector so whenever we are moving it's gonna be 1 and that's exactly what we need it will control the speed of the animation roll loop you can play around with the roll speed parameter I'm gonna set it to 25 and hit play again and yeah I think it's better if I hit control again nothing happens because we haven't added this logic to switch back to the normal mode the same thing we can take the open animation I think it's this one let's drag it under the animator then we can make a transition from the roll loop to this open animation make sure to remove has exit time and as a condition we can use our boolean ball mode when it becomes false we can switch back to our normal mode and finally we can make the transition to the normal mode blend tree that contains the idle walk animations you don't have to set a condition just make sure that has exit time is checked we can go to the ball mode in this mode we have a different speed and also we can get back if we are moving and hit control maybe we should use another animation like this animation if we are rolling and to do that we can go back to the animator component and drag in this second open animation and we will have two options if we set the boolean ball mode to false and the roll speed is less than a certain range like 0.2 that means we are not moving and we have hit control in such case we need to play this normal open animation but if the roll speed is greater than 0.2 we are going to play the second one so make sure to add the two conditions when we set ball mode to false and the roll speed is greater than 0.2 and remove has exit time once the animation gets finished we have to switch back to the normal mode animations and you don't have to set a parameter like this one we can improve this a bit by putting all of these animations inside another state so i think that's pretty much it guys for this video i hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below and i will see you in the next one